a lot of controversy, okay? Um, I will tell you why vegans are not equal to fun, uh, and they are not fun anymore, and uh, why this activism improvement is a lot of enjoyment more than those. Hi, I am Fabrizio Machado, and today uh, we are gonna talk about video games. Okay? I have a lot of articles actually and the scripts to record yet. To limit it, I will not will not be overwhelming and indulging myself with criticize of video games, okay? Because this also is a point that I want to work with at the end of this video. Once I stop in math and science, I found myself confused. Okay, that was one to do with my new occupation outside. Even though I had many activities to turn them as in my new career, okay, I decided to maintain them while introducing a new skill to work and to earn with. And as a habit, okay, for example, to earn, I had uh, gymnastics, okay, sports, obviously, uh, soccer, it's the same thing, sports, obviously, with meditation, I cannot earn directly. Okay, writing, content creation, and that's all. Okay, I had four options, four options to earn with. And the, the new one must be something just like from home, okay, and something to think with. That were the only options that I thought about it. There were actually three uh, to be a trader, a professional gamer, or a programmer. And I decided to embark myself in these two uh, last ones to open a, your, a new journey on my life. I'm not for now a trader because I don't have 18 years yet. Okay, but I know that I can do it anyway. And just after a bunch of investigation. I chosen wisely two games to prove and then just fix one. Whether it will be Brawl Stars and competitive Pokemon. Because Brawl Stars is obviously competitive. I began with the first one from a single Pomodoro session focused on focus for 50 minutes uh, and just to rest for 10 minutes. By surprise, this short period of time resulted of significant progression. I finished up with a tutorial, I got a total of 5 characters having a super rare or character categorized as the level 3, of the level 3, no? Of the 7 rarities in the game, that these are the common, the rare, super rare epic, mythic, legendary, and, and also chromatic, I forgot it. And I level up uh, three levels on the battle bus. Wow! <laughs> this initial seriousness that came from the fear of the returning in gaming addiction gradually transformed me into a sarcastic louder. I, as I realized that seem huge achievements go then without any effort or learning process. This makes the experience in reality boring and it wasn't different with Pokemon for example. In one hour you can get a gifted monster that splits fire, uh, catching three more on the street and then to be the, the first gene of the game, which is like one eighth of the story. I consider Brawl Stars and Pokemon as fun on the past. Why are they fun anymore? So trust me, video games are carefully designed to be addicted and create actual sensation of progress because of many rewards that there are along the path. Okay, you can progress a lot in one hour. They want to make you feel skillful at the gameplay, but it's really a sensation made by the matchmaking or the AI of the game. Obviously, with a purpose to motivate you in playing more. They will feel an intense desire to continue in which we think we are good at and I hope that you notice it because video games are unbalanced your life with a huge quantity of progression okay, and you, that you make alone all your everyday activities for example it's a lot of dopamine liberated which comparing with your other hobbies it makes you them to seem visually unattractive and slow and overall boring and that's exactly the same as any addiction, okay, that obviously drugs and pornography are maybe worse, but this is still like a kind of addiction. So thinking of all of this, why not to progress on your life instead of a virtual world where nothing worldly is gonna happen, okay? That one hour, for example, or 20 minutes that aren't enough to develop something valuable every day, okay, despite that these are like a short time. And examples, your relationships, Reading or meditation. But wait, bro, I play video games and today I'm gonna work and go out and I've got a work pressure. And it must be surprised that there are many sides that emphasize its benefit. Anything is just an excuse. Think on a celebrity and imagine also a gamer. How are these two related? Exactly. The gamer is gonna try to trick himself 
themselves, but then as the majority, uh, for, ma for now they are the majority men, okay, but women is also introducing uh, this world. So they are gonna try to trick uh, themselves to, uh, by searching whether that character, this uh, famous character, is has the habit okay, of gaming because, because it's a pleasurable desire about being accepted, okay? Because I have the same habit as a, as a powerful person. Obviously, it's better to success while keeping that what you are familiar with, despite that it's an amalgamation of the reality. All of those ideas were created by society and what uh, we consume, actually. Because I am able to be a shy, powerful, young, serious, sexy, and masculine, and super attractive. Everyone must take me serious because of being the alpha male. And the content of this beautiful book with a beautiful cover page is just gaming? Really? You need to help me to achieve this powerful state that everyone desires? It will not guide you towards the truth, by the way. Months before starting of self-improvement, I watched this anime, okay? It called no nanana okay this is like among us there's an impostor and everything else okay but this this man is like too masculine serious uh, sexy it's the power of being immortal okay he cannot die and he's obviously a, a trouble for the impostor what does he do to be really sexy and intelligent and smart and alpha male video guys from the real perspective uh, it wouldn't be that Okay, also he would have to do other activities, but, but on the spectator, on the watcher, uh, they, they think that it's all what, what he has to do. So don't sabotage yourself on necessary illusions about thinking that you are going to be like them and so alpha by keeping video games on your hand. Okay, this by themselves didn't give you them the results, but they are disciplined on the aspect that they uh, shine. That habit is a still a distraction, which you can avoid to surpass them right now, okay? So for example, Mr. Beast, uh, Elon Musk uh, play video games uh, and they are so successful. Video games are not a good habit and everyone knows it. So I want to be also successful and I can be better than those just by quitting video games. So don't charge yourself for the instant gratification of accomplishment by playing them. Instead, focus on the of the small changes on your real life and have some self-respect. The habit didn't make them as they really are. It's not worthy at all. And maybe they want also to show you okay, that they can be successful, but it's just a lie. It's just really an illusion. And if you think that you are stopping yourself to recharge and get more energy, um, okay, you are right and wrong at the same time. Because one, uh, yes, you stop yourself, but if you stop living because there is nothing to develop, even to do nothing is more productive because of strengthening your mind by resting okay, or analyzing unconsciously uh, what's happening in your environment. So, a constant thought that I had before starting on my on self improvement and I focusing on myself uh, was once becoming a millionaire, okay, that the same as anyone actually, okay, because th this, is, uh, this is an objective that everyone has despite of walking maybe on the wrong path on anyone else, for example, okay, I would buy gems. And no real gems, okay? This were on round city. Obviously to continue comfortably on my account and playing my rest time because I was working a lot and, and so and, and those stuff. <laughs> so it's to think like I don't have to set there for anymore because I I've already got all my goals and now I can progress on my account on Ground City just by buying gems instead for example of doing the hard work of the game okay which to enter to 6 a.m. to recollect my goal uh, and just to get some points for example and then to enter again to 1 p.m. and to do the same thing uh, and also at 9 p.m. yes this work three recollections three, three times okay in which i had to get my my 900 tokens maybe and just by the way brown city is a harder waste of time even more than for example uh, any game that you can think because it's about being really focused on the game and not having a lot of time for other uh, stuffs 
okay? Because you, you must be near to the screen. Something to understand is that self-improvement is not a trick uh, and seriously that you must get it once for all. It's a journey, it's an adventure. A lifestyle okay, where you're gonna be constantly improving on your enthusiasm even though it's just by few steps or you've got back many times. And how is it this for example? No, I could I could done 20 RPs, okay, and, and I had to and now I had to go with 10 RPs, but doesn't matter really. And that's a good challenge for your ego if you have confronted it. Make sure that these enthusiasms are real and worth it. Consider that this drain totally your energy, and that's not a joke. Simply by trying to understand the many quality of pixels, the graphics and colors that they show you, your brain, your brain gets really confused by the humongous stimulation. After anything else is gonna be just boring and undesirable. Why? because there is not so much progress or these stuffs are not so visual like video game okay i guess that you've really understood uh, what's my point to destroy your life is not fun at all video games are designed for kids we're gonna set us behind on the man's life which is worse than the average for example 35 years alone with a random work he hates, which, which gives him the opportunity to get a small and ugly apartment where, where his junk food, cell phone, TV and gaming console supports him on free times. I don't know, at this point he is playing Plants vs Zombies at the middle of the midnight for having some fun. In reality how it looks in front of the screen, uh, comparing with the beautiful colors and display the animation of the game. Can you see the immaturity behind this kind of action? Man tends to be less masculine with the past of generations. Nowadays we're gonna drive in ourselves to present adults having the same activities and kids, okay? Instead of for example having kids to aspire being adults. We get adults being like kids. Even though we see successful teenagers who are to be totally the opposite, the majority of children nowadays are being induced with this kind of philosophy. Never abandon your child and video games also. And this is obviously to revitalize their minds for the rest of their lives. Why? To maintain them as a miserable consumer. Really reflect about this. If you do things designed for kids, you will be like one, and this is vice versa with adult stuffs. And no, they beat that, uh, that idea of sex when someone says adult stuffs, okay? This, is, this does not mean uh, strictly sex. This is a huge evidence of how Chinese is your mind. Those thoughts about making the aggressive or positive as the anime guy, okay, who I've shown before, is just your fantasy really keep you as a real man in most of your activities because those will be something extraordinary so is there any solution i recommend you to enter to higher levels about this kind of activities for example uh, graphic designing programming or game designing these are other fields or related okay, with with this hobby okay which will allow you to continue slightly on this world while while building your character okay to the long-term planning which are worth it Maintaining your mind on, on wrong ideas about being curved to maintaining your own mind of wrong ideas about being curved to make pleasures along the day. Uh, I'm focusing on what is valuable. Whether you pick for building your own projects to present to the world or the future, make sure about avoiding to be dishonest and deceiver on, on your products. For example, if you if you for example if you choose to be a game designer. Teach throughout your games values and lessons to confront life with discipline, enthusiasm, uh, and heroically act. Even to remind them when they are adults. Okay? To have enriched stories and characters is the same of important as the gameplay. What motivates to your consumers to start the platform and the game? So only don't think in, I have to make this game ultra addictive teach something valuable. It doesn't matter really on what uh, way are you gonna shape it, but make but make sure that it will be healthy. And I am referring if you choose foreign an artist or a 
comic drawer, okay, bring value to the world. Series such as uh, Digimon in the Den taught me the importance of courage and acting as a hero no matter what. Always remember to do whatever your brain says that that is your, the right action. It does not matter whether you feel an intense attachment because something is pleasurable, your mind always will know well how to manage any kind of thought to create a more powerful desire to do uh, what is good. In my case, it was something like this because also ran in my future. I thought those were not so useful, uh, it's just drawing. The Rubik's Cube and music, for example, I had to stop this uh, hobbies for focusing on my work as a programmer and my other hobbies. You don't have too many uh, hobbies because your life must be really simple to grow properly. The Dragon Path, because you can make them as your career despite of what anyone says about. My best advice is to choose wisely one game and to start to train your abilities to become the best player and accomplish your purposes. At the end, and these kind of activities uh, are evolving fast constant. Only I recommend you not to see this way as a kind of escapism or 12 hour gaming sessions every day because you are accomplishing your intention. It's gonna be wrong idea because of the personal care given by yourself. Stay healthy while keeping other ways to promote your mission during work, okay? Not only gaming, for example, uh, trading, okay? Or learning how to promote yourself. Where areas of their hobbies like fitness, healthy eating, sleeping, reading, writing, drawing, etc. Have a clear vision that this is a uh, work, okay? not the addiction's return. And for me, after thinking a lot of what to do you know, with my occupational aspect while wanting to keep uh, my self principles, I decided to turn me into a programmer, okay? to work on my dreams life, uh, focusing on building. Two business, okay, that for now are a secret, but they will be revealed soon. Trust me, this situation happened two times. The second one being like five months after, okay, but nowadays I am still here and more armored than ever. The second relapse was about being completely worried about, again, okay, uh, chat GPT, artificial intelligence, but for example, if programming skills are not uh, required anymore, I can quit again my job and what will be the stuff that I will remember about uh, these times of gaming? The memories of childhood, nothing else. Okay? Which even though they were typically bad because of bad habits, it had moments of enjoyment and that's all. It's something that happened and we must admit it, only admit it. We don't have to be still attached to it. The main idea is to give you a positive enlightenment to apply them on my now, like following the meta of lies and those stuff. So from this instant on, life is gonna be towards the answer plan of wellness with my new healthy and cool enthusiasm. That's how you must see this uh, kind of new activities and self-improvement, okay? This, is, this discipline is not hard. These activities are not hard. In spite of uh, the little notification, uh, no. Seriously that I love this and what is not valuable are the bad habits and partying and those stuff, okay? You must actually love what you are doing right now for quitting that mindset of suffering by progressing, okay? I realize that I am exaggerating too much and this is just a thing of the past. Dealing with uh, gaming nostalgia is something that uh, even though we have good intentions, for example, in including them or our daily new activities such as at least in music, lo-fi version, etc., or trap version even, well, we must uh, take us apart from them. If we don't want to get back uh, as kids as teenagers, obviously, that we play and that's normal. But today we are uh, only seeking for how to be strong and uh, prepare them for life. We shouldn't they dream about uh, talking ourselves apart from the bus stuffs. Okay, but getting near to the gene side of life and being grateful of enjoying to participate of self-improvement. You know that what we prohibit us uh, is basically the thing that we may decide even more. Okay, so uh, don't, don't prohibit it to, to you. So subscribe to the Fabrizio Machado's channel. Thanks for watching.